ladies and gentlemen, welcome to, once again to another edition of Geek Culture Congress, a special edition of Geek Culture Congress, because I have my good friends, uh, hopefully I don't I don't massacre anybody's name, Becky yes. Genter, yeah. right, and yeah. Alex K Kegel. Yes. From the City of Seminole Recreation Department, their eSports Recreational Department. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome, guys, to uh, Geek Culture Congress. I'm so glad to have you guys live on the show with us. Yeah, yeah thank you for having us. We're happy to be here. All right. Um, I wanted to get you guys on the show because you have a, um, a, a unique uh, program uh, that you're doing there in the City of Seminole. Um, first off... Um, uh, Becky, uh, a little bit about yourself, um, how you started uh, um, uh, working for the City of Seminole and, and uh, all that good stuff. Yeah, I am the Recreation Director here for the City of Seminole Recreation Department. I have um, been in the recreation industry for 20 years now. I hate saying that because it makes me feel old. Even <laughs> though I'm it's okay. It's experience. <laughs> it's good. Like, experience um, is good. So yeah, I worked in recreation uh, at the university level where I started out and then jumped over to the municipality city level, um, like I said, many years ago, started out in South Florida and eventually worked my way here to the city of Seminole, so. Excellent, excellent. Alex, uh, so give me a little bit of background yourself, sir. Yeah, I've been here for about two and a half years. I started in recreation just as a lifeguard as a kid in high school. Um, and then slowly moved through the ranks and I started out doing aquatics here for the city of Seminole. Um, and then kind of with the changing times got into esports. So here we are. Excellent. Excellent. Um, so tell me, uh, you guys are working for, uh, the city of Seminole and for anybody who does not familiar with the, with Florida, it is not, uh, it has nothing to do with, uh, FSU or, uh, <laughs> the Seminole gambling casino in Tampa. Okay. This is an actual city. Uh, that is, um, I, I want to say, south of St. Petersburg, I believe, right? We are north of St. Pete, mm -hmm. south ah, okay, of Peter there you go. Oh, Okay, somewhere in between there. Yep, Central <laughs> Pinellas County. All right, excellent, excellent. Um, so you are in Pinellas County, uh, so you are part of the Tampa, St. Pete, Clearwater uh, metropolitan area. And yeah. um, and so you guys working for, uh, you know, the recreational department, how does the, even the idea of – Putting together, I mean, I mean, we're talking about you know a monumental task of equipment and and you know IT and and you know it's not it's not a cheap endeavor. Um, you know how did how did the the, the idea start of the esports program there? Okay, yeah. So yeah. we actually um, I want to say started into this two or three years ago mm -hmm. um, with our initial research, and uh, ironically, how it all came about was I received my University of North Texas alumni magazine in the mail. Uh -huh. I graduated with my master's degree from University of North Texas. Mm -hmm. I was looking through um, the article, seeing what was going on, and saw an esports article that was housed in their um, campus recreation. And that's really where the idea completely started was, mm -hmm. is I was reading the article and how, and I worked for the rec department when I was there, right. and I thought, wow, if they can do it, why can't we do it? Okay. Um, and at that time, started to research, Google around, and realized nobody else in the state of Florida was doing esports on the recreation level. So that's kind of where the idea came from. Was you know just bouncing off of what other you know what the college industry mm -hmm. was doing at that time. I see. Okay. Okay. So, so um, yeah. Then, so I can uh -huh. bring you forward. So from there. Um, we have the room that we're currently in now, which used to be our former teen room. Okay. It wasn't heavily utilized for the teens. We had a couple of consoles, mm -hmm. but they weren't up to date. So it didn't have that pizzazz right. that I think needed to really draw the teens in. Okay. Um, so after really, uh, you know, just sitting down with the staff, talking about this concept and saying, hey, what if we transform this teen room into an eSports lounge? Um, and, and really caught on the staff got excited. I knew excited. So I knew at that point we probably had something pretty cool here. Um, I was lucky enough to work with, um, a coworker of mine who's, um, actually is one of a fellow director who I was telling him this idea mm -hmm. and said, you know what? I love that idea. I'd be willing to help make that happen for you. And he helped us secure some of the equipment. Wow, awesome! So you you got the whole backing of your bosses and everything, obviously, because ladies right. and gentlemen, they're they're sitting in the actual esports uh, facility that they created there. So um, yeah, that's one so idea was to look like you can see in there in the background. 
we've got a number of consoles and uh-huh. PCs um, and projectors and kind of lounge area as well. So we've got something for everyone. And then, you know, those who might be playing whatever they're most comfortable with, they can always jump on and try something new. Excellent. Excellent. So, um, Alex, uh, you are uh, you putting together this this esports program for uh, the for the city of Seminole a challenging task because it's something that's not done a lot even for cities nationwide. So you know, why do you sit down and hunker down and say, okay, this is what we're gonna do. This is you know the, our our game plan and and get, well, getting people to involved. Yeah, it was a little, little uh, kind of like uncharted uh, waters, but I'm a casual gamer at home, so mm-hmm. I've got an Xbox at home, and, you know, me saying that out loud kind of was like, oh, perfect, let's have you do some esports stuff. Um, so like Becky mentioned before, we had some consoles here, so we were able to start with some of the equipment there, hosting small in-house tournaments with um, some regular kids that were coming around, um, some of the teens, some kids that might be normally shooting hoops um, down in our gymnasium. We were able to pull them together um, and just do like a simple – NBA 2K tournament okay. and that's kind of uh, some of the programming level where we started um, and we've kind of blossomed from there into more um, regular monthly tournaments um, just that um, kind of when the shutdown hit earlier in the mm-hmm. year mm-hmm. started to look at things how we can make this happen virtually or people participate from home right um, so we started getting creative there and as we kind of go along this journey um, and see more stuff come out um, kind of tap into our people who are coming in um, kind of guides us as to where we're going to go next Excellent. So, so what games uh, do you have going on right now um, as far as part of the program uh, competitively? Um, so some of our very popular ones that we've had right off the bat are like Super Smash and Fortnite. Um, we're actually going to be hosting a tournament here um, this upcoming Friday for Fortnite. Okay. Um, and the nice part about that, too, is um, we've got all these different platforms here. Um, so it enables us to allow every gamer who can box in the door they can play on something that they're most comfortable with yeah or, so on, the, on a cross-platform yeah. game they can just jump on a pc or, or xbox or whatever right exactly All right, excellent excellent so uh becky when i'm sure uh, a bunch of when you put out finally the finished product of of this esports facility um uh, uh, being one of the very few cities in the nation especially probably the only i believe the only city in the state of florida to have anything like this uh, recreational-wise that's not on the uh, collegiate level. I'm sure you got a whole bunch of emails and a bunch of questions from, from people. So my yeah. question, yeah, H- how many, how, how, how big did your inbox blow up there? It was uh, very interesting because we started to uh, get on some of these Facebook groups that mm-hmm. we saw for, for Parks and Rec Industry mm-hmm. and started seeing questions like, hey, has anyone done this? And so we're like, oh, yeah, we can help you. And, I mean, at one point, we were getting like 10 to 15 emails a day. Yeah. So we did um, go ahead and decide at that point to do a very entry-level, um, here's how we started um video about our you know our experience here with our city and how we got into esports here and push that on youtube so we didn't have to literally write the four paragraph email over and over and over right, again. right. um so yeah and then it was really neat to really start to connect with people from utah and georgia um and different places across the country and kind of see where everyone's at in their process and ultimately get connected that way so as we you know, everyone is building their program, we could eventually come together and have, you know, be able to have a nationwide tournament mm-hmm. at a recreation level. I mean, right. how awesome would that be? Yeah. So um, why esports, guys? Why why uh, ask, you know, your regular nine to five job to invest in something that, you know, it's still still in this infancy? Oh, man. Yeah, we've. Um, interesting we get questioned that a lot especially from what i would say some of the older generation in our profession Mm -hmm. um they're worried that the traditional way of recreating or the traditional way of playing sport leagues are going to go by the wayside but i i would beg to differ i think there's a place for both um esports is where it's at these are where our kids are recreating and that's a part of our profession is to provide the service to to keep kids active to keep kids recreating and in, in the way that they want to do it so mm-hmm. knowing that we knew we had to jump into this industry um the longer we waited the further and further behind we would be mm-hmm. um you know i've been saying you know to my my cohort to my you know my my friends in the profession that this is coming and finally 
three years ago, I was like, it is here. We, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For especially years, with the I lockdown like, and everything. Yeah. Yeah. For years, I was like, it's coming. It's coming. And fine. I'm like, it's not. It's here, people. We need to get on this. It, it, it is a part of how our kids are playing. And we should be involved in that. That's a part of what we do as a profession. Um, and I think really some of the really cool, and Alice can touch on some of it too, mm -hmm. that we, the unexpected things that we did not realize when we jumped into this after we started hosting a couple tournaments mm -hmm. was it's intergenerational. Oh, yeah. Like you mentioned the kids, but even then you've got yeah. kids, you've got parents, everyone in between coming together and we're all, you know, having a good time over the same games or even like, you know, Madden from 10 years ago is fairly similar to what we're playing today with a couple mm -hmm. tweaks here and there. Yeah, some, some yeah. improvements here and there. I mean, even Call of Duty, for God's sakes. I mean, technically the same it's, old war, wa World yeah. at War Call of Duty you played a long time ago. You know, it's mm -hmm. just, just modern graphics. and Even then, they're bringing, up, they're bringing the same game back from, what, 12 years ago? Yeah. Um, and you kind yeah. of refacing it, but right. still. Right. Um, but yeah, everyone loves them. Keep so, coming back. So as far as um, where the program is now, um, tell me more where the program is now as far as uh, the tournaments you got going on. And um, if if I am, let's say I live, do, do you have to live in the immediate area of Seminole to partake in the recreation? No. Of... So, um, you know, if you live in the immediate area or you're a resident, um, one of the added benefits is this daily or regular access to our room here for like those open play hours mm -hmm. um, but we also have drop-in guests as well and then those tournaments we just offer like a flat fee for participants as an entry fee to come and play um and so like i said some of the most popular ones we've had recently are the super smash we did um madden when it dropped a little bit earlier um and we're looking at Fortnite. um and we're able we do a couple of um of those online remote tournaments um a couple times a month as well um, so, like, the online ones are totally free. It's just kind of getting people to connect and play um, and maybe, you know, make a new friend over, you know, never mm -hmm. know who is on the other end of that um, line or who you're playing. Right. Um, yeah. Then. I mean, I think we do, like, Madden Mondays, mm -hmm. and it's basically virtual playing. We just kind of organize it. I mean, you could be anywhere and play. You know, you could be right here in our e-lounge playing, or you could be, you know, somewhere across the world playing with us. Okay. So where, uh, what's the cost of participating in the uh, e-lounge? So a tournament, for example, like what we got come on Friday, $3 is our entry fee. Oh, wow. Okay. So you can come, you can play, and we try to make it worthwhile for everyone. So you're at least playing a round or two, um, keeping yourself in the game. Um, but yeah, the, the biggest part there is to get people to come out, have a friendly competition, um, test their skills. You know, everyone's as good as they think they are. And then you meet someone new, and it turns out someone might have a... Um, just that edge on you there. Yeah. Um, do you, uh, as far as what do you, where, where you want the whole program to go now, um, I'm sure you want to make like your own team, uh, mm -hmm. league <laughs> team maybe, or, or even start a league. Um, are you going to take, uh, adopt kind of what the college, the college teams are doing, or like do invitationals and stuff like that? It's a lot. Yeah. It, there's not a lot, a lot of you guys with recreation programs as far as cities are concerned. So, um, is there enough even to, to put a league? Yeah, so I think it's interesting that, you know, especially we had our Florida Recreation and Parks Association Conference in mm -hmm. um, August, and we hosted like an eSports 101. It was mm -hmm. one of the most attended sessions at the conference. Oh, wow. And I think that's what we're going to start seeing here fairly soon um, in the next year, if not, you know, sooner, is that some of these, some of these cities, cities, cities are I know, um, I think Miami Lakes is starting to just now form theirs as well. So okay. for us, like locally, the ultimate goal, and Alex will tell you, I'm always like, go big or go home. Let's do this. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I kind of threw him into this. I was like, we got this. We're going to do it. So it's always do fun. It. It's always fun. Yeah, we're doing it here. Um, but, you know, I think for us, like what I would ultimately love to see, you know, as, from me coming from the director's point of view is like, yeah, we form our own teams. We enter into some of these tournaments. We, you know, we start getting known on the circuit as like a recreation based team and that we're here. Um, we've also talked a lot about starting to play cross state or even regional tournaments that will then go to like a statewide tournament here in Florida. Um, that was one of the things we are in the process of forming the Florida Recreation Esports Council that'll help um, mm -hmm. 
standardize really, yeah, some of those? Streamline some of our efforts and then standardize like settings or gameplay options. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We need to do to say qualify on the local level, the regional level, all the way up to a state level. More like the rules you know, yeah. and and the norm norms yeah. for for any uh, competitive play, right? Correct. Correct. Excellent. Excellent. So yeah, I mean, I think we are we are just we're just skimming the beginning of what we could do. You know, mm -hmm. obviously, um, you know, our heart is here in Seminole and, and in the state of Florida, but I really think if we could do this right now and set that foundation and groundwork, that we could be um, setting the bar for all recreation departments across you know, the country, and then eventually could have a, a nationwide tournament in a sense. Right. Okay. Um, so uh, I want to participate, for say, and then let's say I want to contact you or go, do I have to go in person to the uh, recreation department or uh, what can what can be done? Like if you want to get into contact, I mean, the best place for that is to go onto our website, mm -hmm. um, which is the myseminal.com. And there's a recreation tab in there. It has a page specifically dedicated to esports and some of our contact information too. If there's any further follow up that's needed. Yeah, and then I would say too, follow us on the socials. We have a separate um, esports Instagram page that we're posting all of these things. So if it's a, a virtual tournament that you wanted to jump on with us, then you're more than welcome to. We push that information out there, um, and that handle is Seminole Esports. So just city name and then esports. One word. Seminole yep. Esports. I'm writing in the in the live show. Uh, uh, shout out to everyone watching this live on the Checkpoint XP Twitch channel, and uh, thank you for everyone who's listening to the pre-recorded show. I appreciate you guys hanging out. We're talking with uh, the uh, program of the City of Seminoles Esports uh, Recreational Program, and they have their own esports lounge and a lot of exciting things going on. I mean, it's uh, one of a kind, uh, even nationwide. How many cities even have something like yours right now, Becky? Um, I don't think, as far as I know from the research we've done, I don't think any of the cities actually have an esports lounge to the level that we have at this point. Um, I would say there's one city out in Utah that is, I would say, on our heels of what we're doing. Um, but it seems just based off of some initial research that we are, we're kind of out front wow. <laughs> figuring it out. <laughs> so, um, how, so you can even use a, a hand, one hand to count uh, as many similar programs in the nation? I would, say there, I would say coming up right now, there's probably about five that we like to keep our eye on to okay. see what they're doing and how they're doing it. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's kind of that's it. where wow. we're at. That's amazing. That's amazing. So, I um, mean, uh, w something that you guys are in the vanguard of right now. I mean, are you excited for uh, everything that's going to happen in the future? And what what do you want to see happen more or less? You know, your goal, final, the final goal. And you can say, ah, oh, yes, we finally made it. We're rolling here at and in, in our esports lounge and in our whole program. Well, I would think that uh, a we just keep growing. Mm -hmm. um, but esports is such a broad like thing to get into like i mean we could focus on like tournaments or leagues there's options for streaming there's so many different things out there so i think kind of dipping our toes in the water and a little bit of everything um but at least what we're offering and putting out there is still core awesome quality stuff excellent excellent um do you guys have a twitch channel as well to like broadcast some we of do. your tournaments we have yeah we do have a twitch channel um it's still uh, in the up and coming stages, okay. um, we've streamed some of our tournaments from there. Um, sometimes we'll do like a themed event. Um, so we were doing like Throwback Thursdays, or playing with old school NBA teams on nice. uh, 2K. Nice. Okay. Um, but it's that same handle, the Seminole Esports. Same thing, Seminole Esports altogether. Yep. Seminole Esports, writing it here in the chat for all, everyone who's watching the live show on Checkpoint XP. Uh, Becky, um, so anything else you want to add before we uh, sign off today? I'm really ex happy for you guys and excited for the program. And uh, whenever you guys have anything, um, especially the next tournament, I'd like to, to at least cover it. So, you know, let me know what's going okay. on and all that good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I would just say just everyone, you know, s s follow our socials because we're continuing to move forward and, and trying to keep pushing us forward into the future and, and keeping up with the trends in esports. Um, and like, you know, Alex was kind of mentioning, I think for me, it would be really awesome to see um, a statewide recreation based esports e tournament. Um, I just think that would be so neat and, and really 
um, setting the standard for here, at least for us in Florida, and, and letting the rest of the nation know that, hey, we're here. Um, and, and we are the esports community. Um, you know, we're a little bit competitive in recreation too. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> well, as well as esports. So, you know, of course we want to be the first and we want to be the best, but yeah, yeah just absolutely. continue moving, moving forward and, and, you know, any suggestions, ideas, let us know. We're open. Yeah, actually, I think, um, you should definitely reach out to the, to the college programs too, the local ones at least and tell them you got competitors that they could practice against, you know, before they play in yeah. their own, uh, co- you know, uh, you know, their own uh, competitions you know what i mean i think that would yeah be, definitely would be cool how neat would that be if, if when we all start like we start forming our team that we then become feeders for their programs oh yeah you See, know you like yeah. but i mean what a cool concept we mm-hmm. could be like a feeder program into some of these college uh teams yeah that would be great you'd be they'll be, they'd be scouting your your players just like yeah. uh like, like you know like the, you know like uh like professional ball, balling ball teams, you know, stuff like that. That'd be great. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you guys coming on the show today. Um, I I'm I'm really excited about the program. So go ahead and drop everything else once again. All the socials, how they can follow you every day. If there's just one main portal as well. Yeah. So um, the main socials are the Instagram, and then like you said, the Twitch page. It's just one word: Seminal Esports. Um, and then our website as well, um, www.myseminal.com. The recreation tab has all of our esports stuff. Um, my contact if it's necessary. Um, but we got some tournaments coming up. Okay. We've got Fortnite. Yeah. And then we've got Mario Kart 8 next month. So if you want to get into people, detail about those two, let everyone know. Because, uh, are, they, are they virtual or are they in person? So these two are going to be in person. The first one we've got coming up is on the 20th, which is Fortnite. It's that $3 fee. Okay. Our doors will open here at 4 o'clock. Tournament starts at 5.30, so as long as you're here by 5.30, you're good to go. Okay. Um, we'll get everyone in, we'll see the bracket, and we'll start playing. Nice. All right. Excellent. Excellent. And then the Mario Kart one? Mario Kart one is... Oh, no. Cut me off guard. It is the <laughs> second okay. Friday in December. All right. So that one be the 11th. Okay. So and got, same so thing. You... Doors open at 4, 5.30, and then we see okay, the bracket cool. and go from cool. there. Cool. You got, you got anything happening for uh, Black Ops? That's the new hot game right now. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Well, you guys let me know about that, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm, sure. I'm always cool, down for some Call of Duty. Always. Yeah. All <laughs> right, guys. Uh, thank you so much uh, for ha- being on the show with me today, and uh, I wish you much much success. And please, anything fresh and new, whatever you got to, you want to share with everyone, um, send it my way so I can get it out there. Awesome. Thank you, Louis. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Thanks to everyone who's watching Geek Culture Congress here on the live show on Checkpoint XP's Twitch channel. And uh, I will be back with more stuff, but I will let uh, my good friends from uh, the Seminole Recreation Department go. Uh, Thank you so much, guys. Have a good evening. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.